Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. It's clean. It's a plant. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit chit. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Good morning. Time to wake up. Damn. You can't be in here. Someone's coming. <clears throat> bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. That got it. The barrier's down. for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed.
So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. This looks like quarry and script. Wow. This has got to be old. When was the last time the quarians wrote on stone? I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. Doesn't look like much, but that might be one of the most valuable pieces here. Turian art is rare outside of Palavin. For good reason, I say. Ugh. Rachni Queen. I guess everything's valuable to someone. Hawk has good taste. I'll give him that. This is nice. Oddly relaxing. Wow. Imagine that thing coming at you in a dark alley. A model of the Kara. It's like a Turian Titanic, the way I hear it. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! That's... impressive. Not sure what it is, though. I feel like its eyes are following me. Yikes. This looks like quarry and script. This has got to be old. When was the last time the Quarians wrote on stone? Michelangelo's David. Just... Wow. Think we could get this out through the door? Money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. Oh my god. There it is. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die. No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shut him up. Kill them! Landing pad to the east. Let's get out of here. Joker, bring the shuttle in. Now!
find another way.
done this the easy way, Goldrum. Allow me to show you the hard way. Look left! That thing apart. Up ahead.
Kasumi. If you're seeing this, it's because I'm dead. The information we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so... so sorry. Keiji. I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi. Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you. Hawk knew you had the cipher. I'm sure others do too. It's only a matter of time before someone finds you and the secret gets out. You're right. I know. I just... It feels like I'm losing him. Again. You have to do this, Kasumi. You know that. I... Gomen Nasai. this. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. for you, Commander. Only half our fuel remains. Thank <laughs> you. 
Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information about the area, it would be my pleasure to assist you. That's a lot of firepower for a friendly welcome. Expecting trouble? We're the gateway to the Terminus systems, Commander. That element of risk requires greater security. Liara Tassoni vouched for your conduct and paid all fees you would normally incur. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. For your own safety, however, I recommend against signing anything. What's so dangerous about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge in goods from the Terminus systems. You mentioned trading. What gets traded on Ilium? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a Terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. You said Liara was here? What's she doing? Liara is one of Nosastra's most respected information brokers. Nosastra is based upon trade. Information is valuable currency, and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I'm on a mission. Can you help me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nos Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. Thank you. Again, welcome to our city, Commander. Please enjoy your stay. Customs records indicated just a car named Samara is visiting this port, Shepard. Your former teammate, Liara Tassoni, may have more information. Her office overlooks the trading floor. You may wish to speak with her regarding the whereabouts of Thane Krios, the assassin on your dossier, as well. Twenty-five. Sell at twenty-five. No, no, no. You're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on. Give me something. Holy crap, Shepard? I... Shepard? The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait. Probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. If I recall correctly, Miss Parasini, you owe me a beer. That I do. Have a seat. What brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. Nothing I can talk about. No offense, but Novaria was dealing with the enemy last time. Damn, you're a hard ass. I'd forgotten that. Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. Lots of money here. Soft people who'd make good victims. You're picking the fat and slow from the herd. Where's the fun in that? Depends on what you're after. A 
I'm looking. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. How do I know this stuff is any good? You're an Asari. Maybe your stuff is no good for humans. I carry nothing but the best. I offer a money back guarantee. That doesn't help me when I'm dead due to equipment failure. Look, I'm dropping too many credits to screw around here. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount, and when I get special items in, you can take a look. An internal affairs agent from Novaria is trying to catch you dealing with smuggled goods. Horacini? Hell, thanks for the warning. I'm gonna get lost and remove some evidence. I'll program the kiosk to offer you a discount, though. How am I gonna go next, Omega? This might be useful. Shepard, I trusted you. I trusted you and you screwed me over. Damn it, Shepard, I trusted you. I trusted you and you screwed me over. I need minimal heat increase. And speed. I'm tired of training employees only to lose them to your competitors. Perhaps Indenture Tech can help the leading provider. Figure something out. It's okay, I'll think of something. You said Synthetic Insights would buy me. You said it was an easy sale. I assumed they would want an AI tech. Hello, can I help you with something? I don't have time for this. Fine, more power to you. You again. I'd hope to see a representative from Synthetic Insights making an offer for the Quarian. What if I bought her myself? I could let her go and everyone would be happy. A gallant offer with three problems. First, her technical skill merits a contract of several hundred thousand credits. There's also a fee for freeing me before my service period ends. Exactly. And finally, you are clearly a traveler. Her service contract requires that she remain on Ilium. I don't want them to take me off to a mine somewhere. Why did this quarry sign herself into slavery? I tried to play the stock market. I'm good with numbers, and I thought I had a way to make unlimited money. I lost everything. Then I got a credit line and lost that. Then I took out an illegal loan to get the picture. As part of our agreement, I paid off her debts. Five years from now, she'll have a fresh start and excellent work references. Sounds great. Unless you lose her paperwork or come up with a reason to hold her longer. All contracts are monitored by Ilium Law Enforcement. In a case such as you described, the burden of proof would be on me. No system is perfect, but safeguards are set up to protect all parties. If slavery is legal, then why are you trying to sell the Quarian? I don't keep service contracts myself. I'm a contract broker. I assumed Synthetic Insights would jump at the chance for a skilled AI tech, but they won't even make me an offer. Why not just keep her? You said she had technical skills. Quarian's strict health requirements and diets make them expensive to house and feed. 
I run at a minor profit at best. I don't have the money for constant suit repairs and clean room facilities. So what happens if Synthetic Insights won't take me? A solution always presents itself. I will take care of you. So slavery is legal on Ilium? Indentured servitude lasts a set amount of time or until agreed upon conditions are met. Ilium must approve all contracts. The law limits what restraint or corrective options I can use and what tasks I can legally assign her. I'm also legally responsible for her behavior and health. Abuse is absolutely forbidden. I'll talk to the Synthetic Insights rep and see what I can do. Really? Thank you. I'd appreciate that. So then he says, Oh, it's okay. Our amino acids are all different. So it's not like we can get diseases or anything if we go that Excuse me, I'm waiting for someone. You deserve somebody who respects you. Somebody who... Can I help you with something? I know a slaver who'd like to sell you the service contract for a Quarian programmer. Synthetic Insights has no interest in purchasing slave labor. We're under enough scrutiny from the Citadel without engaging in practices the Council disapproves of. To be frank, we're hardly hiring anyone. The Geth attack on the Citadel didn't engender much love for artificial intelligence. I see what's going on here. This isn't about slaves. You just don't want to hire a Quarian. What? But... Uh, but... Is it because you don't want to feed them, or do you just not like the suits? Synthetic Insights has a strict non-discrimination policy. We don't just hire indentured servants. Maybe I'll take this to Ilium's Trade Bureau, just to be sure. Wait, let's not do anything crazy. We don't want to waste the Bureau's time. Okay, fine. I'll go drop a contract. Just leave Ilium's bureaucracy out of it. This Quarian had better be good, though. Synthetic Insights just sent over the contract. I cannot thank you enough. I didn't do it for you. I did it for her. Regardless, a kindness to her is mine to repay. Here, free of trouble. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll get this service contract transferred. Thank you. I'll stay out of trouble this time. simple. Kill the guy aiming at you. Here, there's no way to tell. Stupid. Welcome to Eternity. I'm Athita Asari Matriarch and bartender. What can I get you? I'd like something to drink. Sure. I'll set up a tab at the drink kiosk. Knock yourself out. Literally, if you want. Just don't drink anything for Turians or Quarians. Does nasty things to your insides. One saw Krogan drink a liquefied Turian on a dare six or seven centuries back. Nobody came out of that one looking pretty. How old are you exactly? Exactly? Hell if I know. What year is it? I am a matriarch, though, if that's what you're wondering. Most matriarchs head back to Thessia, our homeworld, so everyone can listen to their wise counsel. I serve drinks. Dad was a Krogan who fought in the Rachni Wars. My mother fought in the Krogan rebellions. I've pretty much seen it all. Your mother fought in the Krogan rebellions? I don't know whether she fought. She scouted, sniped a few people, and blew up a couple of space stations. You know, commando stuff. She'd put the old commando leathers on for special nights with Dad. Goddess, that was embarrassing. You said your father fought in the Rachni Wars. Yeah, when he was young. Love showing off his war scars. Krogan think they're sexy. Me, I go for asses. 
I was a girl, he'd tell me about landing on this poison-filled world and stomping arachnid queen into muck. Scientists say all that stuff about us getting genetic material from the father is crap. Seems like I got a bit of his mouth, though. If your mother fought in the rebellions and your father was a Krogan, didn't that cause tension? They didn't meet until a few hundred years after the Turians put the boot in with the damn genophage. As far as either one knew, they were both just warriors. Dad boasted. Mom stayed quiet. Mom was a matriarch herself. Dad was near on a thousand when the truth came out. What happened when he found out? I was about a hundred, shaking my ass in some sleazy bar. They got me on the link, told me that they were gonna have it out, and made me promise to love whichever one survived. Turned out to be damn easy, since neither one did. Family, huh? What a kick in the quad. What's it like, living for nearly a thousand years? Violent. Wars break out. Colonies get destroyed. Mendwar, Eden Prime, Pharos. It's been like that forever. You find peace in whatever arms will hold you. Turian, Elcor, Hanar. Even had a pure-blood daughter. I was the father. It didn't work out. And one day you wake up, your figure's gotten matriarchal, and everyone else is too young to remember how the Quarians looked inside those suits. Why is a matriarch in a bar serving drinks? It's better than what most other matriarchs are doing. Look at that screw-up with Saren and his geth a few years back. All that a sorry wisdom got the Destiny Ascension blown to hell, and now you humans are in charge. And I warned him, told people on Thessia what was coming, and they didn't want to hear it. What didn't they want to hear? That art and philosophy and political prowess wasn't gonna cut it. We can't go a single Asari lifetime without some big war breaking out. We need to get our daughters working earlier, not spending their wild maiden years stripping or in merc bands. When I started talking about making new mass relays ourselves, they laughed the blue off my ass. So now, I serve drinks. Thanks for telling me about that. Right. Don't eat the nuts in the Red Bulls. They're for Turians and Quarians. You'll get cramps. Commander Shepard, Liara will be pleased to see you. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilium? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts. But I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Have you faced an Asari commando unit before? 
Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. You're threatening to flay people alive now? Oh, that. That was just a customer unhappy with the information he received. He'll pay. They always do. Ever since I helped you stop Saren, people have wanted to be my friend, or not be my enemy. I've set up a respectable business as an information broker. It's paid the bills since you... well... For the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the Collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The Assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilium. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with tracking officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane The assassin. Krios. He... Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. The world of intrigue isn't that different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. Thanks for the help. That's all I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I know you're looking for the Shadow Broker. Cerberus gave me data on where to find him. Interested? Absolutely. I had no idea. Let me see what you've got. It looks like a leaked transmission between Shadow Broker operatives. Some hints as to the location and... It's about Farron. He's still alive. Who's Farron? He was a friend. He helped me recover your body from the Shadow Broker. Why did the Shadow Broker want my corpse? He was going to sell you to the Collectors, but Farron and I stopped him. Farron sacrificed himself to save me. So you rescued me. Then how did I end up with Cerberus? Well, they gave me intel to help recover you. They actually put Farron with me in the first place. After I got out, I gave you to them. They said they could bring you back. So you're the one responsible for me ending up with Cerberus? Why? Was I supposed to let my friend die when someone offered a sliver of hope? They brought you back, and now they're giving me a chance to find Farron. After two years, I hadn't even dreamed. If he's been the Shadow Broker's prisoner for two years, he may not be in good shape. I know. But yesterday, all I wanted was the chance to avenge his death. Today, he's alive. I'll do whatever I have to do to get him back. Sounds like you and Farron were close. It's funny. He betrayed me more than once. He was double-dealing for Cerberus, for the Shadow Broker. But in the end, he sacrificed himself for me. I owe him. Any friend of yours is a friend of mine. What's the next step? I... I don't know. I need to prepare to think. I'm going home. Use my terminal if you need any local intel. You okay? I've spent two years plotting revenge. Now I have the chance to make it a rescue. Let me help. I'll come by your apartment. Okay. Hopefully I'll have a plan by then. 
Thank you, Shepard. Your skin looks amazing. You're not using biotics to touch things up, are you? Actually, I just tried an exoderm. New exoderm moisturizing cleanser. They'll never know you. stage. Listen, I know the data is vital to the Kurosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it, I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Serena? Who wants to know? Someone who can make your life a living hell. <laughs> Too late. Lyra Tassoni said you'd have information on Thane Krios. Am I wasting my time? Tana, cover for me. Over here. Yeah, I know who Thane Krios is. I might have passed him some information, but I didn't hire him. What do you want to know? I just need to talk to him. Dangerous man to chat with. Your call, though. I ran security for Nasana Dantius. Then I found out she was having people killed to cover up her dirty secrets. She fired me when I confronted her. Her loss. I might have been good enough to stop Thane from taking her down. If you work there, you must have an idea what his opposition will be. Eclipse Mercs. High-tech killer. Undisciplined, but very well equipped. They don't much care who they kill, as long as they're paid for it. Thane has quite a reception waiting for him. I told him all I knew. He didn't seem worried. Why does that name sound familiar? She was a representative on the Citadel a few years ago. Right. She had me kill her sister, the slaver. I thought that was just a rumor. Well, you know what she's capable of then. She has even more power here in Nos Astra. She uses it to keep her friends in check, and her enemies dead. So where do I find Thane? The Dantius Towers. Penthouse level of Tower 1. There's a second tower, still under construction. If Thane is smart, he'll go in from there. I'll find him. Not without some help. You don't just walk into the Dantius Towers, especially now. But you know a way in. I can get you in, but you'll only get one shot. You'd better be ready. Do you know anything else about Thane? Not much. He did say that he's not doing the hit for money. Nobody hired him. I wanted to know who I was helping, and he said he's doing this job on his own. That he had to restore the balance of his life. I don't know. Maybe he's crazy. If he takes down Asana, I don't care why he does it. You're just offering your help? No strings attached? You're going to look for Thane. Nasana's mercenaries will try to stop you. At the least, you'll distract her guards. Take a little fire, give Thane a clear shot. I didn't hire him to kill Nasana, but I won't shed any tears when she gets what's coming to her. Let's go, then. Good. I'm tired of this crap. We'll go tonight, as soon as the shift workers clear out of Tower 2. 